week ni sisi tukakutana na kama ume tulikupa opportunity tina breeze but ni kama ume overstep opportunity yako mm. like umeenda sana mm. like the, ile, ile time ulikuwa nafaa kuchukua kuka studio mm. ulichukua wapi ule ndo kachukua kwa breeze remember this is my artist rdp bado mimi ndo manager mm. so mimi umeneka at crossroads lakini Buddha si mimi nilikuwa naona potential bro. Unajua nilikuwa naona potential. Hey Buddha. Lakini sasa at some point at some point ulianza ku cooperate off the books. Unajua kuna ile unakuja tu niambia kelangu zile unajua sasa nataka nichukue one week off then the business to what we can do. I agree that ulikuwa pia na ambition. Unajua msiku kuna ambition. And then I was like yes I was told to this guy is looking for is looking forward to become a very big uh, producer. Lakini pia huko RD unajua pia ni kama imetetemeshwa kidogo. <laughs> so ulikuwa unapiga kitu na double agent mm. and you know double agent especially in business inakwanga ni ngozi inakuwa kanom and at that point pia kumbuka Breezy mwenyewe pia alikuwa na ambitions za kufungua studio yake ya Anchel Records and mm. he needed a producer true or false true juu hiyo time nimeenda kwake nikampata yeah. na vitu kwa kwa Keja kwa Keja na alikuwa na setup yote eh uh, so nika nikamwambia bro ah yeah. studio kufanya hivi na hivi yes. kufanya hivi na hivi uh, eh yeah. So remember now let me let me not bring you the situation mali unaweza yelewa mm. ya kwamba ama manager at RD Records mm. but a managing breezy using wet for me six music mm. uh Churchill is the direct manager to breezy mm. and is the studio manager wa Anchel Records mm. so you going to Anchel Records mm. siko na shida nayo sana i only had the, the bit I had a problem with mm. was me getting to discuss with the pretty and now that ajina sasa ambaye mwako enda huko what do we do Mm. as a studio locally but kwenda huko kufanya ngoma za breezy it was a, it was a, it was an added advantage to me because this is the a producer, a producer and we need a what a hit song mm. that's all mm. so ili shake but much as things were being shaken bado ulikuwa tu within my radar yani usijiko lelewa mm. bado ulikuwa mali naweza kuona mm. unazunguka lakini na kuona kwa kila kona unaenda because <laughs> you are revolving around my people <laughs> Jirakubuka. <laughs> okay, in yep. inside here pia. Yep. Eh, uh, ju nilingi nilitoka hapa hivi masaa 9. Yeah. Sijili panda gari gani? Premium. Nzima premium. Eh, uh, premium do. Ah. Do yeye nilipanda. Ah. Ilipitia kisi. Oh, so ulifika so kisumu late. Eh, uh, nilifika kisumu kitu masaa 6. Ah, eh hey, noma. Saa 6 bro. Noma. Ndio nachukua tena bike. Mm. Eh? Yeah? Mm. Na sije hata place naenda. Nikaenda hadi Nyalenda, Nyalenda yeah. Pharmacy. Mhm. Ukambiwa ni ngoja hapa Nyalenda eh. Pharmacy na kuje kukupika. Eh. Nice. Uh. Sasa sita Sa usiku bro. Uko kwa ghetto, Slamia. Bana jo. Like so. Aha. Uh-huh. Nimeingia hapo mzee saa sita. Ah. Ordo nilipata mtu wa bike mfiti. Oh, Alikuwa mpoa. Ah, nice, eh, nice. hadi aka ni ngoja hadi Breeze aka come through. Ah, that's good. Ndoka. Okay. Ah, Ndoka nice. ishia. Ah. Eh. So kijana kijana mwingi ya Kisumu. Hiyo ilikuwa first time yangu kwenda Kisumu mwenyewe. Mm. Eh. Yo na mwingi usiku. Ah. Oji mtu mtaani. Sijui mtu mtaani. Mambo pia juu nimeenda wapi. Kwa hapa nafaka kupiki, kunaomba tu akupiki jo kikosa kukupiki. Kujua naelekea wapi. Eh, made pia unajua hiyo time pia nimetoka mazee sijaambia mama mnaenda wapi. Ah. Mmefika Kisumu ndo nikadungia mama. Ah, ana big. But roho yako inadunda inakwambia we. Zi, roho yako inadunda. Yeah. Nilikuwa confident sana. Juli kuna jo mali unaenda mse unaenda kwa. Nilikuwa najua mse naenda kwake ni mse mse fit. Ah, eh. Nice, uh, ah good. Nice. So nimeingia hapo hivyo. Si nimeingia kwa Keja nikalala akaniambia Buda tufanya yeah. hivi sasa hivi ni usiku hatuwezi hatuwezi fanya job. Yeah. So waingia udoze. Waingia udoze. Eh? Kesho tuone venye tunaanza control una get. Sure sure. So asubuhi kwa mka Juni Morio pia nchai patana na yeye. Shai patana eh, si patana na yeye first to give me go here. So nikamwambia Buda sioni sioni kitu za tunaweza bonga mingi. Tuinge tu tuanze tuanze kushughulika. Yoni asubuhi asubuhi. Asubuhi. Ah, good, good. Eh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So nimeanza na beats flana hapo hivyo moja mbili tatu hivi. Tukapata beat moja kingine fit. Yeah, Niliunda beat from scratch. Yeah. Juu pia sikuwa sikuwa tajia yake yani originally oh, yeah. eh, yake mwenyewe. Ah uh, nice yeah. nice nice kaunda bit from scratch hapo ndo tukapata timbe dhano eh timbe dhano yeah. nice uh, sure uh, na ada kumbuka yeah hiyo ngoma yake ni mbamba sana tuka create ngoma tuka create ngoma hiyo date ulikuwa create mangoma kaa tatu mkachagua timbe kwanza zilikuwa nne uh-huh. mangoma nne ina day yes ndio ilikuwa from asubuhi tuko tukwa 
Kokejani tu na Kokejani tu. Ah, uzuri pia alikuwa na hizo vitu kwa Keja. So Kokejani tuna tunaunda hizo vitu. Nikatengeneza mabitska 5 4 hivi, 4 5 hivi. Mga quality day. Eh tukako zi tukarecord, tukarecord zote. Ah, tukapiga vocals. Eh. Noma. Tukapiga vocals zote. Hapo hiyo date ndo tulirecord Timbe Dhano, Nyakisumo. Kuna ingine alikuwa mimba mama. Kuna rumba fulani pia alikuwa megonga. Yeah. Eh. Zote zikatoka. Bale mama haiku haiku je kwa release. Haiku release. Kwa fit. Mimi kwanza kuweza kwamba zile zote zilikuwa nilikuwa nimechagua mama. Nakumbuka? Ya, ilikuwa fit but aliniambia like nini zilikuwa zimepotea. Uh, eh, files files oh, files zilikuwa files zilikuwa ah. zimeingia kwa nini yake. Oh, okay, so understand. zikapotea. Ah. Eh. So bado tunatafuta vyema bado tunaweza kujua. So the funny bit ni kwamba hiyo time hiyo time kuna breeze inyalenda. Yeah. Ilipata kama pia tumejaribu kusaini Naibabi. Yeah. Tukaenda mpaka Naibabi kejani. Yeah. Sasa unajua tunajaribu kusuka Naibabi afanye nini? Yeah. Apige signing kwa sababu studio ilikuwa mbaki bure. Yeah. So mimi na creative ya like sasa ni nani tunafanya nini? Nani tunaenda kuchukua kwa resident producer wa studio. Babi na amekata signing. Mm. Hapo ndo sasa vitu vitu zikaanza kuchemka. Because you we were like Ojina Menda, I babi na amekata signing. Now where are we heading as a, as a studio? Do you tell me tesa ikafanya nini? Mm. Ikaanza kutokea. Unaona? Mbaki ikafika point I think mimi pia na Breezy tuka clash. Ama ni wongo. Mli clash yani. Kuna era mimi na Breezy tuma clash. Mbona mli clash? Mli clash akabaki na chacho for some time, chacho akaran akaran shit yake for some time. Mm. And then later on siku moja Breezy akitoka na kuru akatipata maseno. Then we went for lunch and we squared things na tukarudi. Mm. Tukarudi normal tukarudi kwa biz. Mm. Uh, I, I think it was for the same reason. It was for the same reason. Kwa sababu ninakumbuka there was a time kulikuwa na issues mbona vile I'm not good with dates. But I remember there was your case. Alafu there was the case of uh, Vicky pia kulikuwa na time kulikuwa na issue fulani. Hiyo issue ya Vicky si imekuja tu juzi juzi hapo hivi. Oh imekuja later baadaye. Yeah. Because I remember Vicky pia kulikuwa na 102 102. Mm. Uh, Amo pia ilingia kwa hiyo system so I was like eh hey, mjua Vicky ni bro. Mm. Alafu bado tena issue zimetokea na bado kule huko kwingine ndio sasa vitu zimeribika kwa ibika. Mm. So I, I I told myself anyway uh, I know I'm a good manager and I'm good at uh, raising talents to where they want to be but uh, probably I, I just want to take my time off kidogo ni wale vile itakuwa so uh, by good luck i think we na sg ulitoka kwa breezy kutoka kwa breezy ukarudi studio yetu ya mtani na tuache was it star record star eh uh, i was just star record week in the week in the local manager z is kutoka kwa breezy Okay, prison mori wangu ndio sasa hivi. Eh. Kuna projects pia bado tunawako. Oh, wako, eh, eh, nice, nice, kuna nice, project nice. zake. Ah. Kwa lap yangu. Yeah. Eh. Project zake oh, mingi. Ongea si sema mliko sana. Naonga juu ya story na residential production. Zi tulikuwa tuna work tu kama best tu kwanza. Oh, kwanza. Eh. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because the part I understood, me I thought tulikuwa tunaenda kwa busy for nini? Kufanya full production. So hapo ndo hapo ndo hapo ndo wasio walikuwa na wasio walikuwa na dini walikuwa na ni understand vibaya ah, okay. walikuwa na idea ah, okay. nilitoka tu like kwenda ku kwenda oh. kutembelea moyo wangu because unje kutoka kwa kwa imedisable because now the fact that umetoka RD ukaenda kwa breeze everybody thought ulikuwa umeenda kwa nini kuka huko umeenda kuka kwa breeze mm. so shida kutoka kwa breeze mm. anchor records how could the RD records immediately mm. will branch out ukaenda star records reasons could the RD records immediately <laughs> tumepata kan kwa Kisumu ah. like Time niko Kisumu yeah. there is some amount zenye critical kwa nafaka kunitumia do zangu oh, eh, lakini nice. kuna vent live rugana uh-huh. akutuma eh. so mkakusana akutuma yeah. then akaniambia like yini say uko kire yini the Kisumu okay eh uh-huh. professor need waro marango but definitely critical was right yeah. because critical anaona huko studio nyingine and then kwa huko RD kuna chomeka anybody else could have said the same angesema bro maze kama ni ganji stumi <laughs> Jiwe ni kama uko fit maliuko. So tulikuwa tumekosana ndo maana sikurudi direct. And, and so eh. all kwa me umebishana na baba yake. Eh tulikuwa tumebishana baba yake. Oh. So ukaenda star. Nika zi nikakuja nikakuja migori. Ah. Nikakaa kwa nyumba. Kitu 2 to 3 weeks hivi. Ukajiuliza sana naenda kwa. Unajua hiyo time? Mm. 
hiyo time pia hiyo tu ndo job nilikuwa nafanya yeah production peke yake ah nice hii ndo job nimekuwa nikifanya hii job ya production yes so ndo sije nani Johnny man akakushtua Johnny man ali ali aliniambia hiyo story ya Star Records kwanza okay then badai badai Vicky B akaanza na Rino ali ndafta through Rino okay yeah okay akaambia Rino like mm. nataka ujina mkuje na ujina huko hivi star Okay. Na fit. Jo tayari hiyo time imepataka nimeacha Rino oh, oh, RD. Ah. Yeah. Eh. Tayari unajua Rino Rino the, for the funny bit with Rino. Uh, Rino is like my my stubborn young brother. Mm. Nimsaliwai niweka kwa baridi for like 6 hours to discuss vile I was supposed to sign him at RD. Mm. So the reason I'm bringing that bit is the, the way in which sasa ilikuja kani slap back on my face then I was like mm. Then one day na ingia kwa meeting alafu naambiwa ati unajua hizo vitu tulizaini ni makaratasi to they don't hold any water. <laughs> And the meeting was happening where? <coughs> At RD. <laughs> so Rino alinikalisha chini for over 6 hours akaniambia we, we didn't want to sign Rino. Mm. Not that he was not a good artist but because mimi na Rino atukwa tumejuana for some time. Mm. So there was a risk of signing him na bora tujejuana mm. lazima ningekoje tuzo yaani kwangu. But I want to say that his talent was top notch. Mm. In fact mimi acha nikwambie kitu moja. Everybody knew I was a schemer. You know how? Na Because I was grabbing every good thing I meet in the street lazima nilete. Mm. Because I wanted to have a house that has got at least all the talent that I need so that we know how to seize opportunities for a game. So I, I wanted I my fear was Nils Kwan Skangoma you know this guy is an artist this guy this guy is very talented but on the other side na jambia what if i make a mistake nim sign na mimi mimi ndo niko na hiyo responsibility am sign critical upon a handle logistics mara mopsa so i ako na hiyo time ya kutaka kujua um say anakaje na get but ni yeye ali pass rino kwa wangu in fact uh, i don't know how rino realized that i was the one who was signing people and then akaka asiye eh, ni mimi ndo nili nili Rino kwako oh ulimwambia eh ndo ongea na kio time nilipataka na na dozi kwako yeah 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 you are at my place i yeah. remember ah so ulikuwa nakuja na yeye eh. nilikuwa nakuja na yeye eh. ah, nice, nilipataka yeah. tumetoka ku shoot aha uh-huh. ah tulikuwa tumeta shoot shoot ngoma yake alikuja ka class eh yeah. alikuja ka class aha uh-huh. tukaenda tuka secure place tuka mshoot so kurudi kejani sasa ngoma yake ya drive me ya yeah, drive me I remember video kali sana yeah so Rino akanikalisha chini akaniambia tu sign Little did I know that in if kasiku ningeambiwa unajua hata hizo vitu tulizo sign azikuwa azikuwa zina hold water that is the day I realized where eh you know ma ambition is priceless is priceless but pia i don't blame rino do you know why eh rino was at rd mm-hmm. alikuja kama client to kampiga video ya kwanza definitely we were short of resources at some point mm. unaona and at that point ndio star records ilikuwa ina come up strongly Mm. Hata ingekuwa wewe walai umeenda. Do you know why? Mm. Because umeenda mali wewe na kupromise heaven. And they'll tell you every bullshit about mali unatoka. Utaenda. Mm. Because unaona ni kama nina hit kesho. Rino Rino was green hapo anajua kitu kuhusu industry. Angejua eti unajua watu kwa nipe tu story za jamba kama wale wengine. So he should have taken his time. And I remember for the first time nilishikana mashati na msani wangu ambaye ni msani. Wewe Hapo ndio nilijoy kazi ya management ngumu. 